Oh my God. This has to be probably the worst experience I've ever had in my life. For those of you that don't know, we hunt in Alabama. It's three degrees right now. Uh, wind chill of negative, close to negative 20. So we opted not to go on the boat because of the danger factor and the wind's blowing 20, 25 miles an hour, gusting at 60. We decided to walk into a spot where we had to cross a little slough. It was, it was hip deep mud. It was the most ex miserable experience of my life. Wouldn't even know how we're gonna get out of here. But the good news is we made it. Uh, we got a lot of canvas backs here. It's me and Austin today. And I've never experienced a day better for killing a canvas back than today. My gun's already frozen up, it won't fire. So Austin's gonna shoot his two, and then I may or may not pick up his gun because he's left-handed and I'm right, so I don't know. Once we get our limit, we're gonna get out of here as quickly as we possibly can, but we just don't know how we're gonna get out of here yet. Y'all stay tuned. This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> That was a teal, dude. Dude, yeah. Oh man, we just got our first duck. I think it's a teal. A green wing teal. We just saw it swimming in the decoys. So we're on the board. Heck yeah. Nice. something to show for it today you know what youtube if this is the only duck we kill y'all are gonna see it anyway just because we came out and endured this and i know all you boys from up north y'all are like oh this is normal but i'm telling you right now us boys in alabama we've never experienced anything like this so this duck right here makes us real happy i haven't shot a green wing in years like years years like you don't see it very often, do you? Maybe if I didn't shoot him six times, he would have looked a little bit prettier. <laughs> it was a hard one to kill, wasn't it? We just looked up and seen him in the decoys. Yeah, this a little baby one. Yeah, that's awesome. On the board. Oh, what? What happened? Was I all over it? I don't know, I didn't even see the duck. They're starting to fly a lot better now. Oh, we're seeing a lot of big groups. Uh, we're just having a hard time getting them to come over here. <laughs> we just had one do the decoys and he missed, but. Yeah, I'm good right now. I'm not even all that measurable. I'm as good as you can be at negative 18. I mean. I'll never, I'll never forget this. Like. <laughs> Me either. All right, so we're out here moving the decoys. Not for any strategic advantage, just because it's gusting 60 mile an hour winds out here. And uh, they're blowing the decoys away. We're trying to get a we're trying to get a hold of them and keep them out in front of us because the wind's blowing it away. It's still about three degrees, wind chills like negative 18 with a 20 mile an hour steady wind and 60 mile an hour gusting so it's nice it's nice and toasty out here we've got a lot of birds working us but some of them stuck up on us and we're just having a hard time getting them to land so but we'll figure it out we're gonna be out here for a little while longer we're gonna try to walk out of here and try to go a different way than we came in because the way we came in was absolutely miserable i don't know how i could have got that on camera because it was dark and all that, but it was like hip deep mud and obviously it's so cold out here we were having trouble. So we're gonna try to walk out a different way that we came. But it's so cold and the wind's blowing so hard that uh, we're gonna go get in the boat, come back and pick up all the decoys and do a little scouting. So we get back to the truck. I'm heading back down the trail a little bit to grab some stuff I had to dump before we Went over that mud, we really had to shed some weight. We were sinking bad, but we were able to to kill that Drake green wing, which is really cool. We don't get to kill a lot of those. Um, so it was cool to see, but the creek we were hunting, uh, it's got a lot of canvasbacks in it. 
Uh, that's kind of what we were after. We saw some redheads and some bluebill, but uh, we did get the, the Drake green wing teal. Was it worth it to come out here like this? I don't know, but I wanted to talk to y'all for a second because if you made it this far in the video, I don't know why you would have, but if you have, I appreciate it, first of all. And second of all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video and go ahead and check the links in the description below if you want to support the channel. I really appreciate it. What I want to talk to y'all about is this year has been extremely tough for, for me and all the people that I kind of know and hunt with. And I just want to know how it went for y'all. Everybody out there hunting public land, I would love to know if it's tough, if you're having a good year, uh, worse than normal year, uh, I don't know. It just seems like this is the first cold front we've got this year. A lot of our birds pushed out. Uh, y'all have seen on the videos, man, we've had a tough year. So I wanna know how y'all are doing. Drop it in the comments below. Maybe we can figure something out. We did see a bunch of birds today and we're about to go scout. The hopes are still high because uh, this is the first cold front, the first good cold front of the year. And a lot of these ponds and stuff around here are going to lock up and they're all going to be out on the river, ideally. So, we're going to keep after it. I just was curious to see how everybody's doing this year. Drop it in the comments below. I appreciate every single one of y'all to my new subscribers. I really appreciate y'all jumping on. And uh, there's going to be more where that came from. So, until then... We'll see you on the next one, and y'all stay warm out there. I know it's cold everywhere. <laughs>